four books I recommend you read as a language teacher. These are in no particular order. Unpack Your Impact. They actually wrote this for like elementary school teachers, like social studies teachers, but I found a lot of really good info in here that I felt like really applied to, especially like our culture sections. This book is Grafted Writing by Eric Richards. And this isn't necessarily like a book that you need to read for learning stuff about teaching, but it's kind of like a resource that you can go back to. So I'm gonna see if I can find a page to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Is it gives you like an activity and then shows you an example. And so if you're lesson planning and you're feeling kind of stuck and you're like, I don't know what to do about this, like, boom, it gives you an activity and then like extensions and stuff for that activity. So I don't know, it's really handy if you're feeling stuck with lesson planning and it's called grafted writing because they're like writing activities, but really they're good rereading activities through writing, if that makes any sense. It is A Natural Approach to the Year. It's by Tina Hargaden and Ben Slavic. And even though it didn't really apply a ton to me because it's it's basically about like a curriculum you, a curriculum you can use um, that's very like a natural approach, right? It's not stressful. It's just like, this is this pattern that we follow and this is what we're doing. And so when I read that, it wasn't super applicable to me because I had a curriculum that I had to follow. But chapter four, friends. So good. In cooperative learning, and it's also not language teacher specific, but there's a lot of strategies in here that I think you can apply pretty easily to your world language classroom. I specifically really like the section on how to seat your students in groups of various ability levels, and I thought that was really helpful. It also has things like, if you're familiar with Quiz Quiz Trade, that's a Kagan strategy. So it has activities like that too that you can use as your lesson planning that you might turn to it as little resource and reference. Okay, I do have one more book to recommend and I can't find my copy of it. I think it's out in the garage and it's like negative 30 outside right now, so I'm not going to get it. But the book Common Ground is, I'm still in the middle of reading it, but so far it's been really good. Basically what they do is they're taking examples of activities that you might see in kind of an old school textbook and talking about like what is the good of those activities and how you can use them for a communicative based approach to language learning in your classroom. So if there's things that you are like supposed to be doing or maybe you're trying to work with a co-worker or a department and you're not exactly seeing eye to eye, the book, Common Ground, maybe gives you some ways that you can kind of tweak some of those strategies to work together. I don't know, I've been enjoying it. Like I said, I'm just reading it little bits. Let's, like I said, I'm just reading it like little bits and pieces at a time. That's why I think it's out in my garage because I'm pretty sure I was reading it while I was on the bike. But anyway. I would recommend it because it's been good so far, but I'll come back and give a more detailed review of that one once I actually am all the way done. What would you add to the list? Comment and let me know.